Hello everyone. Today I will be presenting my research article uh, titled Measurement of Multiple Cardiac Performance Endpoints in Daphnia and Zebrafish by Chemograph. My name is Kevin Adikurnia. I'm a master student in the Department of Bioscience Technology, Chung Yuan Christian University, and I'm supervised by Professor Chung Tersiao. Firstly, I would like I would like to introduce what is Chemograph. Chemograph is a two-dimensional plot containing time and space information created from time-lapse images of moving or posing object of interest. It was first found in 84, 1840s by Carl Ludwig, a German physiologist. Uh, it was firstly made to detect uh, bl blood pressure, but it was used in previous research for detecting axonal transport, microtubules dynamics, and particle movement. The background of this study is that cardiovascular diseases are the number one cause of deaths worldwide accounting for 17.9 million or 31% of total annual worldwide deaths <clears throat> and it was predicted to increase to 22.2 million by 2030 therefore uh, biomedical research on causes prevention and treatment for CVD remain active producing hundreds of publication weekly and they need new ways for processing cardiac performance data these are the methods to detect uh, zebrafish cardiac rhythm. They are chemograph, dynamic pixel changes using the blood vessel, AI echocardiography, MRI, MRI, remote monitoring, and ECG. The aim of this study is to develop a chemograph-based method built in ImageJ platform, which is free and mostly used for image um, data processing. <clears throat> and to encompass all previously obtainable cardiac performance endpoints. And we also want to provide an easy to use and inexpensive one stop method to, to obtain multiple cardiac performance endpoints with high accuracy for Daphnia magna and zebrafish larvae. We determine this method accuracy by comparing it with previously published method and by using astemizole, a, a compound known to induce arrhythmia in zebrafish. This is the overview for our workflow. First, we record the video at 200 FPS for heartbeat because the heartbeat of the zebrafish and daphnia is quite fast. And we convert the video to AVI format uh, because the ImageJ needs the video to be at AVI format to open, to open it in ImageJ. And we can use the image stabilizer plugin in ImageJ to reduce the uh, movement of the zebrafish or daphnia because sometimes they move in the uh, in the video. Afterwards, we do the information extraction uh, by using the chemograph plugin in MSJ to analyze the cardiac rhythm. Uh, actually, we use the <coughs> dynamic re-slice uh, tool in MSJ, which will uh, select an area. After that, it will make a time lapse of the select area. So therefore, we can see the movement of the heart. And we will plot, smoothen, and do the interval detection in MSG using bar plugin, and calculate the data in Microsoft Excel 2016. And the obtainable parameters are the heart rate, heartbeat interval, fractional shortening, ejection fraction, stroke volume, cardiac output, and heartbeat regularity. So this is the principle of heartbeat measurement. <coughs> As you can see uh, here that I have the example A that we use a zebrafish and C that we use Daphnia. So we just choose an area uh, such as uh, shown by the arrow. We draw a line according to the arrow and we do the dynamic re-slice uh, in the image J and they will result in the chemograph as shown in figure E and F. So they will show <coughs> the space, which are the area that area that we select, and the time, the time by frame of the video, and they will create the time lapse. Here we compare the result of our chemograph method uh, to previously published method using time series analyzer, which is published by. Samporna et al. in 2018. We use Daphnia magna neonates to obtain the data. First, in figure A, we compared 
both the method and it showed comparable result in heart regularity, heart rate, I mean heart rate, between both method and no statistical difference. So as you can see that there's no significant difference between both method if we see in the heart rate. However, in figure B, uh, we use SD1 and SD2, which are the parameters related to heartbeat regularity. And it showed a uh, chemograph has higher sensitivity to changes compared to previously published method. Next, we tested the effect of airway selection to result. Because zebrafish larvae has two chambers, two heart chambers, uh, the atrium and ventricle, uh, we will we want to check if there is a difference uh, if we select different area for for the chemograph result. So after we tested, it seems <coughs> using the chemograph result, there are no significant difference. Uh, if we select the area in the middle, low atrium area and high ventricle area or high atrium area to low ventricle area. But uh, in if we use time series analyzer, it seems there is a difference if we select the different area. Afterwards, we tested the effect of astemizole to zebrafish heart parameter. <clears throat> so astemizole is the compound which are known to cause a cardiac arrhythmia in zebrafish. And after we expose uh, the zebrafish to astemizole, um, the blue line here is the control, while the red line is the astemizole treated zebrafish. And after we expose the zebrafish to astemizole, it seems the heart rate of the zebrafish uh, slowed down. So after astemizole exposure, the heart rate went down from 140, the average of 140, to around 100 to 110. <clears throat> Afterwards, we also tested. Uh, the heartbeat regularity in the atrium to atrium and ventricle to ventricle interval. So after we check the regularity, it seems that the uh, atrium is most affected after astemizole treatment. So the SD1 and SD2 of the atrium uh, went up from around 0.01 the average SD 0.01 to around 0 0.02 to 0.025 for the SD2 and to around 0 0.03 to 0 0.04 for SD1. However, the ventricle does not seem to be affected that much compared to the atrium and it, got only, it only got affected in several time points. Uh, furthermore, if we check the AV interval and the VA interval, uh, we see that there's no significant difference in A to atrium to ventricle interval, but there are a significant difference in ventricle to atrium interval at 15 and 20 minutes after exposure. <clears throat> Next, we also recorded several, several cardiac physiology parameters. So here, uh, to get the parameters, we selected um, from selected the heart area from two dimensions. The first one is on the left here. We selected the area in the middle of the heart uh, horizontally, but this one is vertically for the long axis and the short axis. And this is the parameters that we are able to obtain from the chemograph. So we have the end diastolic diameter one and the end systolic diameter one, ESD1, EDD1 and ESD1, and diastolic interval, systolic interval and heart period. <coughs> from the short axis and from the long axis, we only get two uh, endpoints, which is the end diastolic diameter and end systolic diameter, uh, the second end systolic diameter and the end diastolic diameter. 
And furthermore, uh, using the chemograph, we are also able to visually, visually distinguish the difference between normal heart and arrhythmic heart caused by exposure to estimizole. So here we showed the normal heart, normal heart pattern, but here we have the arrhythmic heart pattern, which uh, sometimes the, the ventricle doesn't really uh, pump the, the blood out to the vessel. And here is the cardiac performance alteration in zebrafish after astemizole exposure. So using the several data that we are able to get, these are, these are the parameters that we are able to obtain from all the data that we have. So uh, <coughs> we have the endiastolic volume, uh, long axis, and I mean endiastolic long axis and endiastolic short axis, and also the end systolic volume, and also the end systolic long axis and in and systolic long ax short axis shortening fraction ejection fraction stroke volume heart rate and cardiac output uh, these endpoints are able to be calculated from the data that we have so from <coughs> from the data that we have we are able to see that there is a significant changes uh, after exposure to chemograph in several parameters such as the end diastolic volume and the end diastolic short axis and systolic volume and the end systolic short axis shortening fraction ejection fraction heart rate and cardiac output uh, the conclusion of the conclusion of the study is that we are able to provide a one stop method for easy and inexpensive cardiac physiology assessment in zebrafish larvae and Daphnia magna neonates. And this uh, tool does not need experience in coding because you only need to run several uh, macro that we include in the paper. And we also have comparable result to previously published method with the addition of new endpoints. Uh, the processes, processes are done semi-automatically by using MSG plugins and this also will provide a toolkit for cardiac physiology assessment. But uh, the, uh, this tool needs further improvement uh, to make the process fully automatic and hasten the process. So this is for my, that's it for my presentation. For further <coughs> Further info, if you are interested, you can access my paper in the Invention Journal. Thank you very much.